Ben YouTube. So today we're going through free code camp, JavaScript algos and data structures, and we are going to be doing the basic JavaScript challenge 48. So let's go down and find 48, and we're going to be doing shopping list. So create a shopping list in a variable my list. The list should be a multi-dimensional array containing several subarrays. Okay. The first element in each subarray should contain a string with the name of an item. Uh, the second element should be a number representing the quantity. There should be at least five subarrays in the list. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward what it wants us to do. If we've made it to this point through all the previous challenges, this should be no problem. So they started off with a variable, a const list, and it's equal to an empty array. So what we want to do is, I like to break it like this, uh, and as long as we're within these brackets, that's not a problem. Let's add our first array. So it's a shopping list. So what do we want from the grocery store? We want some milk, mink, we want some milk. And we want probably like 20 of those, 20 gallons. That's about right. And because we are within this, the, the highest level array, the main my list array, we need to separate these subarrays with commas. So we could just put another array here and we could say anything like, um, beef, we want all the beef, 10, we want 10 pounds. We could just do it like this, but just to have cleaner code, we want to break it like this, and we'll have a comma at the end of each line, and just do a new line so we can read it, and it's uh, a little, little easier for readability. And we want some chocolate. We probably just want like one of those because we're on a diet or something. And then we want some computers. That's in plural. We want like nine of those. Again, comma. And we need at least five subarrays. So we're at four. Where's my cursor? There we go. And then we want some. HDMI cables because you can never have too many HDMI cables if you ask me. We probably want like 99 of those. And for fun, let's just do one more. Uh, what do we want? We want a mouse as in a keyboard mouse, because we are getting nine computers, we probably need some mice to go with them. So we have our main array set to my list, and this main array contains subarrays separated by commas at the end of each line. And again, we don't have to break it up into different lines like this, but for readability, it's much easier to see. We have our variable my list, it's equal to an array, with multiple subarrays. Okay? That's all we have to do for that one. Hope that made sense. Hope to see you guys in the next video.